Over the past few months, we've been exploring Kindmaster Spring, and today, we're excited to share our thoughts with you. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by CapCut or a price tag for its pro model, you might be looking for a tool that feels simpler, lighter, and free, especially for editing videos for Instagram, YouTube Shorts, or TikTok. So let's move into what it feels like when you first open Spring. The first thing we noticed is how fast you can start working on a video. No complicated startup screens, no hundred step processes. Just tap create new, add your clips, and you are inside the timeline. It sorts your files clearly too. Photos, videos, everything is separated nicely. We tried editing a travel vlog and we noticed how easy it was to trim, split, and cut clips. There's a small learning curve, but it's nowhere near as overwhelming as something like traditional Kindmaster or CapCut. If you want to zoom into a clip, just pinch the screen. If you want to cut silence, just tap and split. No hidden menus, no weird tricks needed. Another aspect that caught our attention was the templates. There's a full section loaded with ready-made designs. Whether it's for a birthday, a travel memory, a fun food video, or anything else, there's a style already made for you. We picked a few for testing, and honestly, it took less than five minutes to build a really good-looking short video. Compared to CapCut, where templates can sometimes feel too complicated to customize, Spring keeps it very direct. Tap, mix your clips, change the text a bit if you want, and you're good to post. When time matters, this feature becomes one of our picks. Inside Spring, the asset store feels like a hidden playground. We opened it up and found a huge collection. Stickers, fonts, transitions, overlays, even background videos and green screen effects. What impressed us most was not just the number of effects, but how useful they actually were. We added a light text flare to a YouTube Shorts intro, and it made it look like we spent hours editing when in reality it took about 30 seconds. While CapCut has a lot of assets too, Spring's collection felt more organized and easier to apply without digging through complicated menus. It's a small thing, but when you are in a rush to finish a video, it really helps. When it comes to cutting clips, Spring is so simple that it feels almost natural. We were able to trim out silence from talking videos by just tapping, splitting, and deleting sections quickly. In CapCut, trimming can sometimes feel a little jumpy because of the busy interface. In Spring, it's smooth. No delay, no confusion about where your playhead is. This simple trimming saved us so much time. Just listen to this sound we dropped into one of our videos. Crisp, clear, and blended perfectly with the background music. The app has a collection of music tracks, sound effects, and even shorts-focused music clips. We tried layering background music under a talking clip and adding a few swooshes for transitions. Everything matched up easily without weird volume drops. CapCut has nice music options too, but Spring made it easier to manage all the audio without flipping through endless tabs. Since we are already talking about polish, let's get into something else that really adds to the final look, captions. One thing we loved about Spring was the auto caption tool. We created a talking video and in a few taps, captions were generated for the whole thing. We adjusted the font and style inside the app without having to export and use another editor. CapCut does auto-captions too, but it sometimes gets stuck if the internet is slow. Spring works on the device itself, so it feels faster and more reliable. Plus, the captions actually looked stylish with the fonts we grabbed from the asset store. 
Background remover inside spring works shockingly well. We picked a casual talking clip, tapped on magic remover, waited a few seconds and the background was gone. No weird cut outlines, no missing parts. On CapCut, you need the premium plan for background removal. In spring, it's included free, which really made a big difference when we were building shorts with clean, colorful backgrounds. Once we were done editing, exporting the videos was very quick. We could choose full HD without paying. Plus, you can remove the small watermark just by watching a quick ad. CapCut also allows free exports, but we notice spring exports a little faster and the color grading stays closer to what we saw inside the editor. That's a tiny detail that matters more when you are posting to professional platforms. Spring's premium version costs way less than CapCut's annual plan. And the amazing part is that when you get Spring Premium, you also get KineMaster Premium included. That means if you want to edit both short vertical videos and full YouTube videos, you have both editors ready for you. It's a smart offer, especially if you are someone who wants to grow into bigger content without having to learn a whole new app later. When it comes to privacy, Spring really gave us more peace of mind. All processing happens right on your device. Auto captions, AI removers, filters, nothing is sent to a cloud. When you delete a project, it's fully gone, not sitting somewhere on a server you can't reach. In today's world where some apps are facing bans and lawsuits, having your work safe on your own device feels like a huge plus. After months of testing, we can say that KineMaster Spring has really made video editing faster, easier, and more fun for us. It cut out all the parts that slow you down and kept only the things you truly need. We'll keep using Spring for all our short video projects and we're excited to show you even more tips and tricks later. Maybe even a full tutorial soon if you want. Just let us know in the comments what you think about it.